everyone and welcome to another segment of astrologyanswers.com's weekly forecast. My name is Terence Gardino. The week begins on Monday, April the 20th, and the Sun is being blocked by Saturn. This will happen about four times a year for a day. And Saturn is this heavy responsible energy or this delaying restricted energy. It can start the work week on that Monday with being more worried about work or being overloaded with work. But there's a new moon on Wednesday. And so Monday and Tuesday it's the, like two days before the new moon. So this is the dark phase of the moon um, when there's not a lot of energy to be, um, to be moving forwards with new projects, um, you know, making important new decisions. It's a wrapping up time. It's a reflective time. Uh, it's good for meditation, for being quiet for taking long walks in nature, but it's not yet time to be launching this new website, starting a new job, going on a job interview, pitching a business idea, and not on that Monday or Tuesday because it's the dark phase, but also because of late Monday and, and even till Tuesday morning, that sun, which is, you know, puts a real spotlight on what we need to really look at, it is being hit by Saturn. So it's more like it's, this is not the time. This is more um, a, a delayed holding pattern. Then we go into Wednesday, and now we're having the new moon in Taurus. The new moon um, uh, directs our priorities, our attention, um, to a whole new area of our chart, depending on how Taurus affects you um, specifically or in general. Now, new moon, uh, the new moon in Taurus. Taurus is, a, is an earth sign. Taurus is very calming. It wants things more steady, um, more security oriented. That would be the normal theme except it's being influenced by Uranus and Saturn. The Saturn is this, all this hard work and worrying. Uranus is this anxiousness and wanting to break away from all the restrictiveness. Um, so there's still gonna be this general phase of like, um, you know, like we're spinning our wheels. I wanna get out there, I wanna work, I wanna get busy. Um, that's the Uranus energy. Uranus always wants to break free and rebel. But the Saturn is says, slow your jets. It's not time. Um, so the more you fight it, the more stressed out you're going to be. Um, and um, so it's about just this steady, um, you know, uh, pacing yourself. And the Taurus in itself, will help you be more sensible, more grounded as it's an earth sign. As we get into Thursday, the moon continues in Taurus, but it's not making any uh, aspects to other planets in the chart. So it's steady as we go. Friday, the moon continues in Taurus. The moon goes from sign to sign every two and a half days. But this, when the moon is in Taurus, later in Friday, it's going to be in harmony with expansive Jupiter, with intense, powerful Pluto. This is a really good day um, where you might be feeling more secure, a little bit more confident, um, wanting to start um, uh, looking to the future, making plans. As we go into Saturday, now the moon, as soon as we're right at the very, as we go right into the early morning, the moon is now shifted into Gemini for the weekend. And the moon again, the, uh, the general public tone. Gemini is this jittery, flexible, 
uh, I, jumping from idea to idea, wants to connect socially, wants to talk, you know, wants to communicate. That's all that Gemini restless energy. And Mercury is the planet that rules Gemini. Um, and Mercury is the great communicator, and so, are, so is the sign Gemini. In the early part of Saturday, the Mercury is in a hard angle to Pluto. This will happen, uh, this hard angle would happen about four times a year. Um, and Pluto can rule the underworld. Um, and that Mercury, what's on our mind. And there could be this compulsive energy um, to soul search, um, to dig deep into our psyches. This is good for investigation. This is very good for research. It's very good for studying. And Pluto rules psychology. And so great for counseling. And later in the day, and more late Saturday, um, now the Mercury, as it's pulling away from profound Pluto, it's now triggering expansive Jupiter. So maybe um, you've been in trying to figure out some mysteries, some secrets, or you've been doing some research and you're studying and you're so intensely focused for the first part of Saturday. But then later in the day, then you're feeling really hopeful and, and expansive with that Mercury-Jupiter. And then with the Moon in Gemini and Mercury in Jupiter, it's a great Saturday evening um, that if you can't get out and about, you can certainly be, you know, emailing and chatting online and Zooming and Skyping Sunday in the first part of the day, the sun is now putting its spotlight on Uranus that happens once a year. Uh, Uranus is that planet of rebellion and, and liberation. And so it's putting a really spotlight on getting us out of our ruts, you know, being more open to um, new experiences, new kinds of learning. And the moon will also continue in Gemini, this intellectual curiosity sign, but it's going to be in harmony with Venus and Mars. Venus is pleasure-seeking and romance, can be creative. Mars is all that physical activity. So having the emotional moon with Venus and Mars, very good day for romance for some of you. Um, for cre uh, inspiring more creative um, output or um, socializing. And with that sun Uranus, you just want to break out of their confines. And some of you will be connecting socially, uh, physically speaking. And others will just, with all that, that moon in Gemini and all this, this need to get out of your stuck routine, you'll just be uh, con connecting however you can from phone to Skype um, to FaceTiming it. So before I wrap up, I want to remind you I'm available for a one question offer for a nominal fee. You can um, find a direct, a direct link in the description box below the video. Um, put in your time of birth. That really helps me with your uh, giving predictions. And so, I want to thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you next week with my next segment. Until then, be safe, be well.